Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about congruent, congruent chords. All right, what's a chord and what are congruent chords? Well, we define chords as being the distance or that segment that connects two points in the circle. So in this case, AC is a chord and EG is a chord. All right, so the theorem is if two chords are equidistant from the center, then they are congruent. Well, how do I know that that's true? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a radius from D to C and then from D to E. I know that the distance between the chord and the radius based on a prior theorem and also based on the definition is that segment which is a perpendicular bisector of <clears throat> that given chord. So if two chords are equidistant from the center, then they are congruent. All right, so I have two chords equidistant from the center, so BD is congruent to DF, so BD congruent to DF. And I know that angle CBD is congruent to angle EFD and that they're both right angles. And then I know that CD is congruent to ED because all radii of a circle are congruent. Now I can say by the HL postulate that triangle CBD is congruent to EFD. Triangle CBD is congruent to EFD. And if I know that's true, then I know CB is congruent to EF. And <clears throat> if CB and EF are congruent, I know that BA and FG are congruent because BA is congruent to CB. Remember that segment from the radius that connects or is the distance between the radius and the chord is a perpendicular bisector of the chord. So if CB is congruent to EF, then BA and CB are congruent, FG and BA are congruent, so CA and EG are congruent. Okay, moving on to the next theorem. If two chords of a circle are congruent, then they are equidistant from the center of the circle. Okay, so I'm gonna, what I wanna prove here is that BD is congruent to DF. So I'm gonna write prove BD congruent to segment DF. And I'm given <clears throat> that uh, two chords of the circle are congruent, so CA and EG are congruent. I've uh, connected uh, the radius D to the chord. That segment BD will be the perpendicular bisector of CA, and DF will be the perpendicular bisector of EG. So EF, FG, CB, and BA are all gonna be congruent. I also know that CBD and EFD are right angles. And then I'm going to draw my radius or a radius from C to D, and then again from E to D. I know that all radii of a circle are congruent. So again, by HL, I can say that CBD and EFD are congruent. So triangle CBD congruent to triangle EFD by HL. And then by CPCTC, I can say that BD is congruent to DF. All right, almost done. I just have one problem for you. And that problem is this problem. So I want you to take a look at it and I want you to see if you can figure it out on your own. If you pause the video and come back after you've made an attempt. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our radius from O to Q. We know that PQ is 30. And I know that the distance, the segment that constructs the distance from O to B is going to be that perpendicular bisector. So we're given that this value, uh, uh, that this radius is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. So I can say that CQ and PC are the same. And if PQ is 30, then I know that CQ is going to be equal to 15. Now I'm also going to define CO is equal to X. And therefore, OQ is going to be the radius, or x plus 5. So using the Pythagorean theorem, I can say that OC squared plus CQ squared is equal to x plus, or, uh, x plus 5 squared, or OQ squared. So OC squared is x. So x squared plus CQ squared, which is 225, is equal to x plus 5 squared. And x plus 5 squared is x squared plus 10x plus 25. And 
I subtract uh, both x squared values from both sides, and I'm ending up with I end up with 225 is equal to 10x. I subtract 25 from both sides, and I have 10x is equal to 200. X is equal to 20. So 10x is equal to 200. X is equal to 20. And if x is equal to 20, I know that the radius here, OQ, is going to be equal to 20 plus 5 or 25. So the radius is equal to 25. All right, that's it for congruent chords in the lesson. Come back and join us for some practice problems in congruent chords in the next edition of Auten Math.